Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then spirit has a message for you. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see. Spirit. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Okay. Right away, we have the Ten of Swords here, Aquarius. Pretty heavy energy. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. The Nine of Wands. Okay. The World. Hmm. Tell me more. The Six of Wands. You know, someone... Tell me about the World. Magician. Someone here, Aquarius, doesn't want to close out a cycle with you. Even though this could be done, so this could be a break. I do love readings, but love doesn't always have to be romantic. This, so this could be a breakup. This could be divorce. This could be ending a friendship, not talking to family anymore. It doesn't matter. There's someone here who's not accepting that the cycle is over, that it's done. Even if you've ended it multiple times with this person or try to cut this person off multiple times, there's someone here who's like, they won't take no for an answer is what I'm getting. I, I have to be honest with you here. I don't know what's going on today because I just did the Libra reading and it was like pretty heavy energy in that reading too. Um, there's someone here who's not going to take no for an answer and who's trying to win something with you at all costs. Who's trying to win the, the fight or win the argument or be the last, get the last word or um, make themselves look good in some way to, to you, to others. It doesn't matter. I, just, I feel like there's someone here who's just, they're not accepting that it's done. They're like, nope, not on my watch. Like, that's what I'm getting here. Um, could be a Gemini or a Libra. It's interesting though, because as much as this person is like, I'm not done with you yet, Aquarius, they're also very guarded from you. Like they, it's like, you might be asking yourself, well, why does this person want, want to continue with me if they don't even open up or they don't even tell me how they feel? It's like, what's the point? Why do they keep me around here? It's, it's very like... I'm getting very manipulative energy here from this magician seven of swords. Tell me more about that. Ace of pentacles. <laughs> you see, this person's like, we're not done. This is not over. They're not accepting that it's over. They don't believe it. This person will say or do whatever it takes in this situation to get you to have a fresh start with them, to start over. They might offer you money, they might offer you gifts, they might offer you their time, their energy, they might say all the right things. Like this is someone who's pulling out all the stops here to start over with you because they're not accepting that it's over. So this could be someone that like you have a hard time getting away from, especially if it's family or something like that or just someone you're really connected to in some way or you, you were. Like this is someone who's like... It, you know what it feels like? It feels like this is just what we do. This is just what we do. We're, it's not actually over. We're not actually, you know, done with each other. And again, that could be romantic, friends, family. It doesn't matter. There's someone here who's, who's like not believing it. So 
they're lying to themselves. They could even be lying to others like, oh, we're just on a break or, you know, nothing, nothing's really going on here. It, the, seven of Wands, Nine of Swords. This could be someone you blocked even and they're going to find a way to communicate with you. Like this person, like at all, like the Magician Energy is someone who will do anything at all. They, they use all the stops, all the tools in front of them, everything they can think of to try and make something happen here. And I feel like that's what this person's trying to do. They're trying to have a fresh start here with you because they're not accepting that it's over. But like I said, at the same time, they're guarded. Tell me about that nine of wands. Queen of Cups. Yeah, they can't open up. It's almost like they don't want to lose your love, Aquarius. They don't want to lose your compassion, your empathy, your understanding. But they also can't offer you the same thing. They feel really good when they're with you. They feel proud when they're with you, but they might not even have told you these things. Like you might have even wondered, does this person even like care about me? It's almost like they wanted you to read their mind instead of them having to actually say it. I don't know what this person is. Okay. So there's someone here who's not accepting that it's over. Um, yeah. Okay, so what's their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks? Let's see. Seven of Pentacles, they want to put the work into this to make this work. The Ten of Cups, oh my gosh. We're getting 10-10 ten, ten here. You also have 7-7. Seven, seven. So when synchronicities show up in my reading, it's always Spirit's way of telling me this is a significant relationship in your life. Um, no matter how long it lasts, it's meant to teach you something deep. You might start seeing 10-10 ten, ten or 7-7. Seven, seven. We have uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who in the next few weeks is going to apologize. I always say with the page of cups though, it doesn't always match what happened. So the apology is there, but it's like, I, like it almost comes through as like this person feels like all they have to do is say sorry and everything's all forgiven. But if there's been a lot of pain with this 10 of swords, a lot of betrayal, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of hurt, it doesn't work like that. You see how this person is just jumped, like the, even the Ten of Cups coming underneath the Ten of Swords. It's like, the, it's like this person's really quick. Like you could have been fighting like cats and dogs one day and the next day they'll be like, oh, but we're, we're perfectly fine. It's like, it's like they're not acknowledging how much pain there actually has been. And then they'll say and do whatever it takes to like get you to start over with them. Again, doesn't have to be romantic, but... There's someone here who's going to apologize. They're going to say, you know, let's just work on this. Let's be patient with each other. You know, give me some time to figure this out. But I'm going to see their intentions. It just, I see the uh, judgment card at the bottom, wanting another chance here with you. There's just something about this person not acknowledging how painful it actually is. Whether it's like their words or their actions or both. Like this person, it's, it's like they have a hard time with accountability anything else for the this person's actions so expects communication king of pentacles this person's pulling out all the stops they could spend a lot of money on you they could offer some sort of stability towards you here uh, the king of pentacles is very generous especially with material things so like this so you see it's like this person doesn't want to talk I don't see, you know, the Ace of Swords or uh, the Eight of Wands even or things like that. But so there you get an apology and you'll get like gifts maybe, but not a conversation. This person doesn't want to talk about what happened. They just want to pretend like everything's all good now. Get back to the happy. And I do feel like there is happy with this person. I feel like that's what makes it also very confusing and hard to say no maybe at times. So just be aware that this person's coming in strong with a lot of uh, gifts or just time, energy, um, and an apology here. Tell me about the Page of Cups. The Tower. Yeah, expect the unexpected Scorpio energy here. So this could even be someone who you thought this is the last time or this is done. There's no coming back. And then all of a sudden they come back around out of nowhere, out of the blue here, really shaking things up. 
really unexpected for you. I don't think you're going to see this coming. I feel like you're sitting there watching this reading being like, there's no effing way this person's going to apologize. There's no effing way after what happened that this person's going to come back around. And then they do. <laughs> so keep me updated. But just this is spirit letting you know this person's coming in. And they're coming in strong. Uh, so it could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra. But if you don't hear their sign, it does not mean that they're not here. Let's see their true intentions towards you though, uh, Aquarius, because I'm curious what this person truly wants from you. What is this person's intentions with Aquarius, please? We got the moon, Pisces energy. What is this person's intentions, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. We got the Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. They definitely want a fresh start here with you. The world, again, this, per this person's trying to jump back in the cycle here with you. What do they want? They want to have a good time. They want your love. They want your energy. They want to spend time with you. Tell me about the moon. The eight of pentacles. They're going to work on it. They want to work on it with you. They want to put in the effort to show you. But there's still an aspect of like mystery to this person. Tell me more about that moon. Like it's like you don't, you feel like you don't fully know this person. King of swords, nine of wands. Yeah, like they're very guarded. They're very guarded. They could even act like cold or detached at times or like this isn't, they're not invested in a way. Like I said, like that was coming through even with their feelings. It's like as much as they want you, they still have their wall up. And you might even wonder like, what do you want me for if you don't even open up yourself? So it's like this person wants to work on that and being less mysterious, but it's still there. It's kind of like, I hate to say this because it's not, but this person views it as like, this is just their personality. Their personality is just like cold and detached at times. But I feel like, and this is just my opinion, so if it's not yours, that's fine. That's kind of a choice. Like this person chooses to be cold and detached at times, right? Because I feel like everyone has the ability to be open, to be emotional, to be vulnerable. It's just whether or not they choose to. So that's just my opinion. This person's guarded. They want to work on it, but it's still like, it's kind of still there. So they might even say something like, this is just who I am. This is just how I've always been. You know, I don't like to get deep. I don't like to talk about certain things, but at the same time, they want you and they want a fresh start and they want your love and they want to be around you and have a good time with you. They want, they don't want this cycle to be over with you. Um, what's the potential outcome? Five of Cups. Hmm. That's heavy energy. The Hanged Man. Someone's stuck on the past. I don't know if it's you or them or both. Someone's stuck on the past. We, got, we did get the Ace of Swords there. Someone's stuck on what has already happened. The Page of Cups. It feels like, again, lots of apologies, but it, it it's almost like the apology isn't enough. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. There has to be honest communication about whoa, where this is going to go. Because you know, at times, as, as much as this person could be established in their life, I feel like they act immature. I feel like they kind of make light of situation. It could be like, you're, it's like you start having a pretty open, honest, serious conversation. Then all of a sudden they turn it into like flirting or joking or um, j just making it feel like it's not that serious here. We got two pages for the outcome. It, it feels like this person has an inability to kind of, like I said, maybe take accountability, but also be serious at times. Like they can be serious, but not when it comes to like talking. What the hell? You got three aces on the board. So for those of you who are like, there's, there's no way this is my ex, like absolutely not. It could be a new energy. We got aces, like I said. But it feels very quickly like there's this, if so, if it is new, it's new and then you end it and then this person's like, we're not actually over. And then maybe you do that a few times. Um, like there's already heavy energy between the two of you and you, it, you just started if this is new. 
But someone here is stuck on the past um, with that Five of Cups hanged man energy, Pisces energy here. Someone can't really let it go. Um, tell me more about the Five of Cups hanged man. The Queen of Wands. Did someone get burned by someone else? Did someone get used by someone else? Um, was there a third party? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Feels like there could have been um, third party energy. Knight of Wands at the bottom. So I don't know if this person was put in a third party, put you in a third party. You have been in a third party before and you can't get that out of your mind. I, I, it could be, you know, energy is fluid. You guys could be sharing the same perspective, but it feels like someone thinks about the past a lot. What has happened? What has burned them? What has gone wrong? And kind of feels like this, even if this is brand new, feels like that. There's parallels is what I'm getting. How will Aquarius know who this is? Four of Cups. Someone who doesn't know a good thing when they see it, when they have it. Three of Wands. Getting three, four there. Tell me more. I just feel like this is the type of person we got temperance, Sagittarius energy, who's always like, it kind of feels like you're always waiting for the next thing to happen. It's like, Give it time, give it time, give it time. That might be this person's favorite thing to say. Just give it time, right? And of course, I feel like you're willing to an extent here, Aquarius, but at the same time, it's like, how much time am I supposed to give? That's kind of what I get from this person, who they are. It could be a fire sign, especially Sag. What advice do you have for Aquarius? Two of Cups, oof, Aquarius. That's why this is so hard because you're drawn to this person, the star... That's your energy, the tower. You know, this feels like a soulmate to you. That You feel drawn to this person. There's something here. And here's the thing about soulmates. Soulmates are not always in our lives for a very long period of time. Sometimes they're in our life for, you know, uh, a week. But there's deep lessons here. So I don't know how long this is going to last. I feel like that's totally up to you. But this is coming out of nowhere. There is a very strong connection coming out of nowhere. And it's offering you some sort of healing here. Tell me about the star. It's offering you a new way of seeing things. Um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. That's this person's energy. So. It just feels like this person's quick with it. Like they can't acknowledge fully everything that's happened but they do want you. Anything else for advice? Look at that, the Empress. Don't forget your power. Don't forget what you offer to the table. Don't forget what you, what value you bring because it's strong and it's, this person knows this. Stand in your power. Be aware of pregnancy if that's um, relevant to you because that could happen. Hmm. There just has to be open communication here is what I'm feeling. Even if this person resists, 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 I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk, or you feel like it's pulling teeth talking with this person, it's like that's what has to happen here. I mean, unless you're good with not communicating either, then I feel like the two of you could just, you know, not talk about the things that happen and just, you know, move forward. But if you're that type of person who's like, no, I need to sit down and talk about this, then you might have to be the one to sort of push for it. Um, but don't forget your power here with that Empress energy. Do not, the Empress does not chase, she attracts, right? She just sits and, ra and radiates in her own energy and that attract, it's like attracting bees with honey, right? Like she's the honey. And I'm saying she, but there's not um, gender in tarot. We got challenges, make a decision, work on inner healing. I don't know why, but when I see this person pushing it to me, I got the image of a pregnant belly again. So just be aware of pregnancy. We got divorce, experiencing a breakup. Like I said, it could be that like things end with this person. It's like, nope, I'm not taking no for an answer. Um, gambling, problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. Could be this person. Maybe not. No, it's not the right time. So maybe it's just not, it's not never, it's just not now. Let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. 
So could even like let go to me is about like surrendering, right? Again, sitting in your empress energy, attracting because you just got they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. So yeah, they're not going anywhere. I don't know who this is, but they're not letting your you go. <laughs> even if you feel like it's gone. It's too late. I moved on and do not wish to re reconnect. BS. It's BS. I'm telling you, it's BS. They're saying it to almost like get a reaction out of you too. I smile on the outside, but I'm dying on the inside. They'll be back. I'm afraid to contact you, but they will. I can't stop thinking about you. I don't know what you did to this person, Aquarius, but... They're coming for you. Self-indulgence, self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. You do you right now, Aquarius. That's my advice to you. Hammer, sabotage, and rebuild. Persistent, working on it, repairing. This, does, whenever I pick up that card, I get like someone knocking down a block tower and then building it up again. Like, does that is that what this person does? Like, they ruin it and then they come back and like try to rebuild with you, but they don't talk about how they ruined it in the first place. That's that's what I got just now. Meditation brings answers. So try to take meditation. Doesn't have to be half an hour. You know, meditation can be three minutes where you just clear your mind and you just um you know ask for answers from your higher self because we did get improving health which is mental emotional physical spiritual and then you got be assertive yeah do not let this person just i won't i don't feel like you would but walk all over you communicate what you need with this person fear i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love Address your fears. They're telling you something. A new romantic cycle begins. Libra energy. I'm telling you, this person's like, they're, it's, and you are good enough, Virgo energy. This, this is not over. Even if it just started and it feels like it ended, because I'm getting a quickness. Like it's like start and ends really quick. It's not over. It's not over. We got by the book, number 11. And you got chop wood, number 42. So 11. Getting along with others entails understanding and respecting who they have become as a result of their environment, culture, and, ex and experience. Find the middle ground that allows the relationship to flourish while honoring the individuality of the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way you want to do them. Your connection will deepen as a result. So basically just kind of like accepting this person for who they are. But for some of you, it might be like too much. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and then you got chop wood, which says, are you an armchair astronaut? Do you dream of wealth and fame, big ideas, inventions, or desires with a capital D? The appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time to date to dreaming and talking about your dreams. You have to get out of the chair to make things happen. You actually have to do something. Start with a small task. Remember the big dream becomes reality only after you have begun to take incremental steps. Mythologist Joseph Campbell once said, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. I feel like that was like more of a career message there. The essential meaning is being grounded in everyday experience, humility. Let me just pull on that. Tell me about chop wood. So I feel like it's like telling you to take some sort of action here. Um, we got justice, Libra energy, and then you got the queen of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, that's a career message. Um, maybe it's like work-life balance. There's something you might be thinking heavily about that I feel it could put you in a really good position here of um, being very financially stable, at ease, comfortable. Maybe it's a higher position at work, whatever it might be, that side hustle. Do it. Do it. Find the balance and do it because I feel like it's going to pay off. Oops. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. 
If something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got K, Z, or Z, W, X, five, and three. Okay, Aquarius, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. If you are still wanting further clarification and have some questions, follow my link in the description box below for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. I also have a code there for 10% off. Okay, so thank you all so much for your beautiful energy. Sending you so much love and light.